let's look at the set burger prince is a popular chain of restaurant in mumbai the only products that the restaurant specializes in are burgers wraps fries and ice creams each customer visiting an outlet of burger prince orders at least one of these four products and for the product ordered the customer orders just one in number of each product example a customer can order one burger and one wrap but no customer can order two burgers okay the following two tables refer to only two outlets of the chain one in andheri and one in bandra table 1 gives the number of burgers the number of wraps the number of fries and the number of ice creams ordered at the two outlets on a particular sunday so andheri had 20 burgers ordered 16 burgers ordered in bandra wraps 16 were ordered in andheri 18 were ordered in bandra 12 fries and 10 fries in andheri and bandra 24 ice creams and 20 ice creams in andheri and bandra this is what is given in table number 1 for the same day table 2 gives data about the number of customers who ordered exactly one of these four products exactly one of these four exactly one of these four products not to, you cannot have multiplicity of products ordered you cannot order burger and wrap you cannot order burger and fries you'll only order one of those items okay and then you have five questions there is a question on maxima minima based around the set theory based around utilization of the concept of flags so let's use that what could be the minimum number of customers who visited the andheri outlet that sunday okay forget everything else just see these many items were ordered in andheri these many items were ordered in andheri now uh, if i want if i want the minimum number of people to visit andheri on that sunday if we want minimum if i want minimum number of people to visit andheri on that sunday the first thing that i will have to do is first thing that i will have to do is or my target should be every every person who walks in every person who is ordering let him order as many quantities as he can let him order as many quantities as he can so with that idea in mind let's see four people ordered burger alone exactly one product four people ordered burger alone let all these four people come from bandra six people ordered wraps alone let all these six people be from bandra two people ordered fries alone let both these people be from bandra 28 people ordered ice cream alone now all these 28 cannot be from bandra because in bandra only 20 people ordered 20 people ordered uh, ice creams so out of these 24 i can break it down as eight people who ordered only ice cream and 16 people who have the potential to order multiple things so now i have burgers 20 wraps 16 fries 12 and ice cream 16 these items can be ordered by people who ordered more than one item now in order to ensure in order to ensure that one person orders as many items as possible what i'll do is uh, all four somebody who has ordered all four let there be 12 such people how are we arriving at this 12 out of these four numbers 12 is the smallest one so we 12 people have ordered all burgers wraps fries ice creams all four which should mean we have eight more burgers we have four more wraps and we have four more ice creams to give away and no more fries to give away then somebody who is ordering burger wrap and ice cream or three items somebody has ordered four items 12 of them people who ordered three items you can have a maximum of four of them you can have a maximum of four of them because 844 844 so four gone zero left zero left so there will necessarily be four people who have ordered who have ordered just one item burgers there will necessarily be four people who have ordered just one item burgers and now in andheri see there were one item only of ice cream there were eight people one item only of burger there were four people people who ordered three items of burger wraps and ice cream four people and people who ordered all four items 12 people all together minimum number of customers that andheri had on that sunday is 28 minimum number of people that andheri had on that sunday is 28 and our objective our attempt here is to as in for this question the target is if i want minimum number of people i would want every person who walks in the number of items he takes away is as large as possible while maximizing the overlap of uh, 
the sects that are mentioned to us, we can reduce that number of people who are visiting Andheri on that Sunday. This takes care of the first question. The beauty of this set is that for every subsequent, every subsequent subpart, you have to go ahead and start your work all over again. Next one now. For that Sunday, what could be the maximum number of customers at both the outlets combined? Maximum number of uh, uh, customers at both the outlets combined. Again, let's see. Number of burgers ordered were 36. Number of wraps ordered were 34. Number of fries ordered were 22. And number of ice creams ordered were 44. Now, out of these items, out of these items, four were ordered by people who ordered exactly one item. So, 32 people were there. 32 people were there who ordered burger and something. Now, out of these 34 people, six were there who ordered only wraps. So, 28 people ordered wraps and something. Out of these 22 people, there were two who ordered only fries. So, there were 20 people who ordered fries and something. Out of these 44 people, there were 28 people who ordered only ice creams. There were 16 people who ordered uh, ice cream and something. Now, see, the items ordered by people who ordered multiple items. I, the total number of items ordered by people who ordered multiple items is 96. 96. If I want the count of people to be more, I would want everyone to take away few items. So what I would want is everyone to take two items out of the lot. Either you take burger wrap or you take burger fries or you take burger ice cream or you take wrap fries or you take wrap ice cream or you take fries ice cream. You're only ordering two items. And given that items are being consumed in steps of two, these 96 items, 96 items would imply there were 48 people here. There were 48 people. For these 96 items, there were 48 people. And for these 40 items, for these 40 items, there were 40 people. Because the these are the items ordered by people who ordered only one item. There are 40 people here. So altogether, maximum count of people who could have visited both the outlets combined will be 88. Or that is the answer to this question. Okay. 88. Let's move on to the third question. Let me erase this. I may have to work. I have to work all over again. Find the maximum number of customers at the Bandra outlet who could have ordered exactly three products. Exactly three products. We want maximum number of people at the Bandra outlet who could have ordered exactly three products. Okay. Again, we start off with we start off with these people who have ordered exactly one product. Let all of them, to the extent possible, let all of them stem from Andheri, four from Andheri possible, six from Andheri possible. Two from Andheri possible, 28 from Andheri not possible because there are only 24 people who ordered ice creams at Andheri. So out of these 20, four are definitely who have ordered only ice cream and the remaining 16 could have ordered multiple items. You see, burgers, people who could have ordered multiple items at Bandra, 16. People who could have ordered multiple items at Bandra have ordered a wrap also are 18. Then for fries, you have 10. And for ice creams, you only have 16 such people. Let's add these up. 28 and this, 60. We have managed to reach 60. We have managed to reach 60. Now, I want to ensure that people have ordered exactly three products. So these items, this is the count of items with people who have ordered multiple products. If I give away these items in groups of three, if I give away these items in groups of three, my life would be simple. In groups of three, number of people would be 20. And how would that be accomplished? We don't really need to get into that mathematics. But in case you're interested, in case you're interested, we can go ahead and work that out as well. Let's say there are A people who have ordered burgers and wraps and fries. There are B people who have ordered burgers, wraps, and ice creams. There are C people 
have ordered burgers, fries, and ice cream. And there are D people who have ordered wraps, fries, and ice cream. Wraps, fries, and ice cream. Now, can I say A plus B plus C should be equal to 16? Because all these three would be counted in number of items of burger given away. Similarly, A plus B plus D, A plus B plus D will be equal to 18. A, B, and D. These groups are the ones that have ordered a wrap. Similarly, let's do that for fries. A plus C plus D is equal to 10. And finally, uh, B plus C plus D is equal to, B plus C plus D is equal to how much? Uh, 16. If you add all this up, you'll get three times of A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 60 or A plus B plus C is equal to 20. Oh, sorry, B plus C plus D is equal to 20. Now see, utilizing this equation along with these equations, you can come to precise values. D, A plus B plus C is 16. A plus B plus C plus D is 20. So D has been added. Sum has gone up by 4. So there are 4 people who ordered wrap, fries, and ice cream. A plus B plus D is 18. A plus B plus D is 18. So C should be 2. Then A plus C plus D is 10. So B should be 10. And finally, B plus C plus D is 16. So A should be 4. For this distribution, see, burgers are going to 16 people, wraps are going to 18 people, fries are going to 10 people, and uh, ice creams are going to 16 people. These groupings can work. Although for this particular question, we did not need this grouping. We simply had to distribute it into groups of three the answer achieved here would be 20. But I've done this additional work because then we can answer question number nine straight away. We can answer question number nine straight away. If Bandra outlet had the least possible number of customers, least possible number of customers, and none of the customers at the Bandra outlet purchased all the four products. If none of the customers purchased all the four products, then I would want everyone to purchase three products because then the count of people would be lower. This is the precise situation that we're dealing with. Then how many customers purchased a burger, a fry, and an ice cream? Burger, a fry, and an ice cream. There will be two such people. Seven and nine were linked in that way. That if you've answered seven, one step further will take you to question number nine. Uh, answer to question number nine is well. People who ordered burger, fries, and ice cream is two. People who ordered uh, all other groupings, you can potentially get it. Now coming to the last question left in the set which is question number eight, okay? Okay, let's see. Across both the outlets, what could be the maximum number of customers who ordered all four products? Forget this table for the while. Here, the number of people who could have ordered all four products is 12. Number of people who could have ordered all four products is 12. And here, the number of people who could have ordered all four products is 10. These are the base numbers that we are starting with. If there are 12 people who ordered all four products, and there are 10 people who ordered all four products, there are eight burgers that can be ordered by, an by other people. There are four wraps that can be ordered by a single individual. There are zero fries that can be ordered by a single individual. And there are 12 ice creams that can be ordered by a single individual. And then on this side, we have 10 people who can buy ice creams only. There are zero people who can buy fries only. There are wraps pura karne ke liye. We have eight people who can buy wraps only. There are burgers pura karne ke liye. We have six people who can buy burgers only. But look at this. Burgers, eight log available hai. Eight burgers available hai. Six burgers available hai. You have eight burgers available and six burgers available. You can give away one to each. No problem at all. For wraps, four and eight. And you only needed to give away six individually. So that can also be accomplished. For fries, we are not achieving that target. For fries, we are not achieving that target. And for ice creams also, and for ice creams also, 20, 12 and 10, we are not achieving that target. So this is a problem. So what do we do in that case? 
what we do in that case is you can choose to work with Andheri or you can choose to work with Bandra. Doesn't make a difference. I am choosing to work with Bandra. I'm choosing to work with Bandra. First thing I'll ensure is if 12 people, 12 people are getting, have the ability to buy only ice creams in Andheri and I need 28 in total. So I'll get 16 people buying only ice creams in Bandra. 16 people buying only ice creams in Bandra, which would mean people who can buy multiple items and are also and are also buying ice creams. Four of them would be there. Four of them would be there. So maximum count of people who have bought all four items in Mandra would now reduce to four from the initial 10 that we had. Now it would be four. This is ordered only by one person. This is ordered only by one person managed. Now the number of uh, fries available in Mandra, number of fries available in Mandra that could have been ordered by only one person is six, which is more than two. Our work is done for Wraps, we have 14 available. For burgers, we have 12 available. So yes, we can have all these bunch of people. These This list can be met. This target can be met. We have 12 people who ordered all four items in Andheri. We have four people who ordered all four items in Bandra. And thereby, we can reach an answer of 60. But let's say you are not working with Bandra. You are working with Andheri. So let me get back to that stage. All 10 have ordered. All 10 have ordered. So we are left with 6, 8, 0 and 10 here. Then what would happen? See, 6, 8, 10. All 10 people have ordered here. Now, because I need 18 more. Because I need 18 more people who have ordered only ice cream. These 10 people can order only ice cream. I need 18 more people who can order only ice cream. There will be 6 people left who have ordered ice cream set Andheri. There will be 6 people left who have ordered ice cream set Andheri. And they can order other items. So, in this list of people, in this list of people, what is the maximum possible number of people who could have ordered all 4 items? It will come down to 6. So, either it will be 12 plus 4. Or it will be 6 plus 10. In either case, the answer is definitely going to be 16. And you have more than enough people available who could have only ordered that particular item. Here the additional people left. Here the additional people left will be 6. The number of additional items left is 10. The additional items left is 14. We will have more than enough. We will have enough opportunity to give away exactly one product among the items left. So no problem at all. The answer to the eighth question will be 60. This is a question that is beautifully designed to test you on uh, maxima, minima, in set theory. And uh, unless you've done that thoroughly, this will prove to be challenging. That will be it.